Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended family. Thank you so much for the love and vibes that you send me each and every day as you reciprocate to other, other people with their comments. It's all greatly appreciated. You know, I just love it to death. There's just, like, we're all like a big family. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'd love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video. Or you're just telling me about the gift that has been placed upon you. Or if you feel like the video is just, you know, put you in a good place and it just gave you some good understanding, go ahead and spread the love. Thumbs up, like, and share. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you're able to resonate with something in the video or it gives you good validation. So the music, the meditation music I'm listening to today, if it will quit going off, um, whole body generation eight hour instant pain remover, delta binaural beats, sleep hypnosis. Anybody has like headaches and stuff like this, I've actually did one of these before, and I think it might have been this one. Um, and it was really good, especially if you you know with empaths, we suffer from migraines so bad. So, you know, if you got body aches and stuff like that, this might be the thing for you. So, um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101, all empaths when the universe starts blocking. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about blocking your blessings. Like, blocking you from people, blocking you from things that you might not even be wanting to say, or you be saying, or you might be feeling some kind of way. I know when I'm getting on the phone with my friends, and they know who I'm talking about, and they start laughing because they know they know what I'm talking about. Like, there'll be things, and we'll be just, gah, 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 and we just be mad about something, and just be venting next thing you know, the phone go, clip. I'm like, girl, did you hang up on me? No, girl, I thought you hung up on me. It must be something we ain't supposed to be talking about. <laughs> we be talking about somebody that made us mad. And next thing you know, the phone will just click. The phone is, you know, you can't get a hold of each other. You're like, dang, I wasn't finished talking. Yes, you were. Or it just could be somebody that just does not mean you any good. And it's just, the phone will just hang up. Because there are so many times, it's like people that when I try to see, you know, and that's our problem. You know, with us being empaths, we, we find the goodness in people. We try to look for the goodness in people, even though when them, them helpers are hateful. And we, we don't even need to be messing with them. But us as empaths, we will put ourselves in that daggone, what is it, that, that crossfire, just to deal with somebody. And sometimes it's like, you know, we don't need to be doing it. And it's just like when we're on our paths and, we, you know, you got people that, that just irritate you. I thought I'm going to do it. You know, I even had a content about, you know, when people... You know, when you're trying not to catch a case. And I, I was trying to, like, divert from doing it. <laughs> divert from doing that video about, Lord, y'all know when folks be trying to make you catch a case. But, you know, I'll probably end up doing that one another time. I'll, I'll probably do that for y'all towards the weekend or whatever. Make it funny or whatever. But, universe is blocking you for a reason. When, you know, when you're talking about somebody, you know you need to just let it go. You know, because there'll be some time, I, you know, my ex be working on my nerves and I need somebody to talk to. And, and the phone will be hanging up on me, no, because I need to let it go. You know, it's been too long, whatever. But it, it's just be like, you got to let it go. It's just like when, when the universe start blocking stuff, no one is for your better good. Just, just no one is for your better good. You're like, oh, I just need somebody to talk to. And I'm just tired of, you know, going through all that. And it's just like. You know, you just want to talk about it, but knowing, you know, if it's meant for you to talk it out with someone, you got to talk to the spirit guys, talk to the people upstairs, because it's just like, you know, it's, it's, you're blocking your blessings when you do that. You know, it's just like, they want you to get out of that routine of, you know, just constantly venting about folks that's working on your nerves, because you know they're going to continue to do it anyway until you get up out of that path. You know, in my situation, I'm, I'm working, A, I'm working the heck 
get the heck up out of there. So it's just like when you know you're working your, your butt off to do the things you do, knowing the universe blocks you for a certain reason. You know, especially when I be having addictions or whatever, and I get frustrated and I want to go pull up a cigarette or go roll up a blunt or whatever. And next you know, I can't find, you know, I don't have the money to go do it at that time. And I know the reason why. Even though, you know, I have to learn how to you know, like, deal with things on my own, deal with things in a natural way, you know, even though marijuana is not bad, but it, it slows your blessings down, you know, a lot of people, you know, say, which I even I do, you know, when you're an empath, we have a lot of voices in our heads, we have a lot of thoughts, because there's sometimes, I don't know about you, but I know me as myself and the other couple individuals, like, we can be so deep into going through something like you could be going through your kundalini attacks or your ascension and could really start pulling out different people's thoughts and it can be coming out your mouth and you're like oh my god why did I say that and it can be never your thoughts so it's just like you know I used to smoke weed just to calm the voices down you know um not to be feeling everybody's emotions so much and i mean there's times i still struggle with that each and every day especially when you're going through things hey irma i said my cat irma wants to make a cameo appearance but i guess you only see her her head and her tail but um yeah when you're going through things and stuff like that knowing the universe when they block you from things is this for a good reason it's for your benefit and knowing it's not to punish you but knowing when they're trying to keep you away from something knowing they're trying to add something into your life that's a lot better and i have to keep telling myself that when you when you steady keep reaching out for that bad thing and it's just like stop stop you know or it's just gonna be to that point you keep going at it you know you don't want to figure out what the heck the universe is going to do to you or what is going to happen to you when, when you reflect out that, you know, when you reflect that out to the universe. If they, you know, you keep dabbling in the things they keep block, trying to block you in, you don't want to find out. And I, you know, and I, that's why I started going to church. You know, just start doing everything I can, you know, to fight my sobriety, you know, not deal with things the way I used to deal with them. Because it's just like when you're dealing with family situation, you're dealing from in-house situation, you're dealing with financial situation, you're just dealing with life and, and, and it, you know, is a whole. You know, that's a lot to deal with. You know, like I tell y'all, I'm not, I have no shame in my game because a lot of people be like, Rosalind, I want my bud. I want my weed. I, I, I want my weed too, but we can't have the weed. <laughs> we can't have it. We got to be having a better way to, <laughs> we have to have a better way to be able to cope with things, be able to deal with things, not actually cope, but be able to deal with things. So I, you know, I'll be telling my friends like, God, dog, you know, this stuff I'm going through is hard, man. It's hard out here for a person like me. You know, but I said, I'm going to get through it. Because it's just like, you know, when people really know, especially people that's really close to me, and they know the things that I've been through. They're like, uh, dog, Ross, I'm surprised you ain't anything stronger than that. But no, no, I'm not. But it's just the fact is, you know, I struggle with that every day. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to. You know, I'm not even going to fake the fuck and tell y'all I'm not when I'm not. Because, you know, I'm trying to let go of things myself. Because it's just like when I put these video outs for y'all, this is, you know, the stuff that I deal with on a daily basis. This is things that I deal with. You know, when I'm venting about something, pissed off about something, I want to be able to talk to my friend about it. But it's just the universe is just like telling me, you know what, you need to let this go. Because you might be wanting to talk to anybody. You know, just to get that off your mind, and next thing you know, you need to get a text like, girl, I can't talk right now, I'm busy, or, you know, they just don't answer the phone, or they just got to, you know, the conversation's cut short, because you have to be able to deal with things like this on your own, be able to, you know, find things that's going to, you know, release that anger, release that negative energy to go ahead and replace it with a positive one. So you have to be able to do that. You know, when the universe is blocking you, trust me, it's for a good reason. So I hope you were able to resonate with this video. I hope you were able to get something out of it. So I will talk to you later. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Hit that notification bell. Um, drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even tell me about your empathic gift or just the positive feedback about the video. Or if the video just gave you a good, you know, 
this good and give you good vibes, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. Knowing that you are truly loved and you are blessed and highly favored and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better good. So I will talk to you later. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you in my next video. Peace. And be wild.